Hey, welcome back. A big masquerade event coming up will support a lot of homeless teen mothers in our area. Joining us now are Ian Crawford with the group Wingman and Angie Cuban with Vida's Ark. Thanks so much for coming in, you yeah. guys. So first, tell us about what Vida's Ark is. So Vida's Ark is a home for um, pregnant and parenting teenage girls. Mm -hmm. It's located in downtown Vancouver area, and we are set up to provide support and just care and um, the, the needed um, support, I guess, for, for teenage girls that become pregnant or are parenting through their high school years. Mm -hmm. um, we just really work really hard to keep girls enrolled in high school. Mm -hmm. um, becoming pregnant is the number one reason that girls drop out of high school. Mm -hmm. um, so we really try to keep them um, in school with the support that they need to keep them going. Right. And Ian, so you've, you've just started up this group called Wingmen. Mm -hmm. um, and tell us about the connection and, and what you guys plan to do. This is your first event that you're going to be throwing. Well, so the idea behind Wingman is just a group of guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we have like minds, and we decided to get together. And what can we do to better charities in the Port Portland metropolitan area? Mm -hmm. And the first one we chose was Vida's Ark. And we thought, well, how can we get a group of people there excited about an event in order to help them raise money and ultimately get exposure uh, to their charity. Right. So we decided on a masquerade evening. Uh, we're going to have people dress in cocktail attire, put on masks, uh, have a sense of mystery, have some food, have some drink, and have some dancing. And it's going to be a great time. And mm -hmm. the benefit is everyone there will, will know that their fun is actually going to contribute to people's lives mm -hmm. and ultimately we're going to write a check to Vita's Ark at the end of the evening. Awesome and that money is going to be raised through tickets that people... Uh, ticket purchase. sales, uh, mask purchases, oh. uh, bar sales, mm -hmm. uh, a wide range of different opportunities and basically we're a Everything we make is going to go right to her. Awesome. And, and so then how will that help your organization, just certain yeah. things that you guys need? Yeah, we're just really um, we're at a place right now where we need everything, basically. And yeah. these girls, just over these past couple of years, have really um, come up with a lot of needs. We have to run the house, keep it operating, um, mm -hmm. support the girls with the, the types of services and things that they need, just the basic needs. Um, we're in the process of starting up a, a new... Um, community room mm -hmm. in the back of our house for mm -hmm. teenage parents and girls that are pregnant all over the, um, the area, all over Clark County, um, which we're really excited about. We're really raising funds to do the construction on that called the Lighthouse Community Room and awesome. um, hopefully even open up another, another Vita's Ark because there's always a need and the teen pregnancy is is rising and, right, yeah. and so there's a, a great need for girls to get this type of support so the support from the wingmen is just incredible because mm -hmm. it's it's an opportunity for us to raise these funds right away quickly kind of up front and have a great time but um, for me not to spend my entire work week um, <laughs> all day every day planning this type right. of thing so to be able to show up and have these funds raised to support these girls in this way. It's just an incredible okay. opportunity for us. Well, so. thanks so much, you two, for coming in. Yeah. And again, that event is Saturday, November 21st. It goes from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. It's at the Urban Studio. That's at Northwest 10th and Davis. That's in the Pearl District. For more info on the event and to get tickets, we have a, a Vida's Arc link to those tickets on coinkeepitlocal.com.